Hello, hello dear Cancer and happy birthday to all of you. Hope that you're all well. This is Kathy from Divine Debut with your July 1st till July 15th of 2020. I do hope that that new moon solar eclipse in your sign will bring you blessings. There is something new beginning for you of course and it's very very it's huge obviously since it was a solar eclipse right so I do hope that it all works out really well for you this is your general and love reading for the 1st to the 15th of July as I said and let's take a card for cancer and we've got Jupiter return and benefits that is beautiful so something beneficial is coming into your life. Now Jupiter does rule Sag, so you may be dealing with a Sagittarian. I am doing a nine card spread for this time and I do hope that you enjoy this. Uh, those of you that are astrology lovers, I will be doing a separate video on the astrology for July. And also please look out for the next uh, eclipse reading which would be astrology and tarot for each sign that will be happening on the 4th or 5th the eclipse right which will be a full moon eclipse in the sign of Capricorn so dear cancer this is your seventh house of relationships other people let's take the focal card and we've got the nine of swords wow let's see what else we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven, sorry, yeah, Seven of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups, which is confusion. Things being up in the air. Three of Cups. We also have the star in a very important position. This is Aquarius. So, dear Cancer, you may be dealing with an Aquarian. Um, doesn't have to be, of course. Um, I do feel that for some of you, this could be maybe your rising sign or something like that. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the Page of Wands. And the outcome, wow, is the Ten of Swords. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got Judgment, wow. Judgment, which is Scorpio, okay, this is uh, something has died, something needed to be taken away from you for some reason. Now here, this is Archangel Michael calling for a resurrection, for a rebirth. Let's take another card. Wow, dear Cancer, oh my goodness. So what I see here, what I see here, you may be severing ties with an Aquarian, okay? And you may be moving towards a an Earth sign. King of Pentacles could be, of course, your energy, but it could be another Earth sign. This is my Taurus card could be Virgo, could be Capricorn. We've got a lot, a lot of swords. We've got nine of swords, seven of swords, ten of swords and three of swords. You've obviously had a tower moment, a tower moment, something needed to fall away, something of an interference I'm going to say here. Some of you are going through some sort of a legal issue. The Jupiter Jupiter can speak of legalities as well. Let's see. We've got Knight of Pentacles, which is slow and steady. Something that takes forever to come in, but this is careful planning. Um, Page of Swords, which could also be a spy. This could be also a lesson. Okay. Page of Swords could be someone that's looking on the internet. Okay. Strategizing. Checking you out. Spying on you. And we've got Ten of Wands as well.
let's take some more cards. Let's take the Tower of Sexual Magic. As this reading is quite confusing. There's a lot of hidden things here, dear Cancer, a lot. Let's look at your love life. And we have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and there's a lot of passion here, as you can see. We have the Ten of Cups, a lot of happiness. But tens always speak of family. And here we've got the lovers, where someone's got a choice. So I do feel as though some of you are dealing with a third party, no doubt. Let's take one more card, and we've got the Hermit. So Virgo is also here. As you can see, there's three people here. One person is left out in the cold. I do feel, dear Cancer, if you've been dealing with an Aquarian, this could be someone that's backstabbed you, someone that may have stepped out of uh, a relationship, someone that's done the dirty on you. You've been heartbroken. You are the one that's been heartbroken. But you're going to close that door. And that's when your benefits, your Jupiterian benefits will come through. We've also got the Three of Cups here. Okay, now, we've got Seven of Cups, which can mean confusion. It can mean deception. It is Piscean, Neptunian. And we've got Three of Cups, which can mean someone who goes out and has drinks. Okay, then the Seven of Cups is, it's like, you know, having that confused mind or feeling drunk if you get what I mean seven of cups can mean escapism so these two add up to the ten ten of cups okay where once there was a lot of happiness but what sits between them is the nine of swords so someone is not happy here someone is alone at home while the other person is going out having drinks stepping out of the commitment Okay, and they may have stepped out of this relationship where friends are concerned, okay, because they're very social, Aquarius and, uh, you know, the star card can speak of hope, it can speak of the internet though, someone may have met someone through the internet, maybe there was a meeting, okay, with the knight of, sorry, the page of wands this is someone who's willing to take a risk it is the minor arcana of the fool but someone has taken the risk but they've closed the door okay the door is closed in their face if they've taken a risk and put all those swords in your back they're going to get caught they're going to get caught and that's what the full moon lunar eclipse in your seventh house is all about okay seven of swords someone's been sneaky okay they're running off and looking behind them. Okay, someone's acting, and I'm not doing reversals. The Knight of Cups could be someone that is very manipulative, someone who more than likely steps out of a relationship and therefore brings in the heartbreak here. And I'm going to say that I don't know why, but I feel that cancer, uh, you've already felt. You felt that the person you're dealing with was stepping out. Some of you may even have seen this. You may have been the spy. You may have been looking through the internet and come across something that was very heartbreaking as you found some sort of a truth. That's exactly what I feel is going on here. Let's take some more cards. So some of you may have been dealing with an Aquarius, could be another Sagittarius. And this is Sun, Moon or Rising, of course. We've also got Gemini. Now, the Gemini could be the time because Venus is transiting through Gemini. And with Venus retrograding and Mercury retrograding, this is probably what you found out. Let's have a look at the uh, 
Plutonian energy of the Judgment card, the general energy. Let's have another card on that. And we've got the Magician. And the Magician can be a trickster, but it's also during Mercury retrograde. This is where you get your resurrection. Okay, so Mercury retrograde uh, goes direct around the 13th of July. Let's take more cards. Why are you so worried? With the Nine of Swords, this is your head going around in circles. You, you're too much mental anguish here, stress. Let's have a look. And we've got the Four of Swords. Wow. Nine and four, that's 13. Three and ten, that's 13. That's Scorpionic. That is obviously Plutonian. Scorpio is also intimacy. It's the occult. It's things that are hidden. It's also, Scorpio is also money. It's a money house. Some of you may have had money issues where someone may have stolen from you. They acted as though they were offering you, but in actual fact they were taking from you. Okay, they were very manipulative, very much of a trickster and a magician. Let's have a look at this Three of Swords, which is a heartbreak. And we've got the Emperor here. So this could be a same-sex relationship as well as we've got the Emperor as well as the King of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be, but can be. The Emperor is very Saturnian. The Emperor is very harsh. And the Emperor, even though he's someone who provides security, they don't usually show their emotions. Now, dear Cancer, this could also say that you need to become the Emperor. You need to stand strong and let go of your disappointment, your heartbreak. Dust yourself off and move towards what you want to manifest. Move, be smart. Just around the corner, you've got Jupiter. Jupiter return, which brings a lot of happiness, abundance, expansion. This could also be saying that for those of you that have been smart with your money, there's an offer that's come through, which if you're smart, don't close your eyes. Keep one eye open, though, so you don't get manipulated. You could make money out of it. This, this, the card of celebration here. And this could be the ending, let's say, of the hardships, as we have been going through a lot of financial hardships. Now, with the Four of Swords, we've got the Three and the Four. So you are meditating. You're looking for your answers. You're looking for a way out of this heartbreak. Let's have a look at that Seven of Swords. And we've got the Six of Swords. So leaving anything stealthy behind, anyone who's been stealing from you, leaving them behind, more swords. And again, seven and six is 13 again. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, someone who's got strong Scorpio in their chart. Let's have a look at that seven of cups. And we've got the high priestess. You need to trust your intuition. There, ha there are secrets. You are dealing with someone that's very secretive. Someone who does not have your highest good at heart. Let's have a look at that Ten of Swords. And we've got the Seven of Wands. As you can see, he's got the higher ground. You're above all the things that you're up against, look at those two flying stars, two falling stars, sorry, flying stars. And I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, these two stars here, and we've got a lot of stars here and here. I'm going to say that for those of you that are being given a second chance in life here, dear Cancer, I do feel as though you're severing ties with the past. The stars are aligning for you. It's got to do with the past and the present. And I feel as though you may be connected to an earth sign. Could be a Taurus. I suppose could be a Capricorn, yes, and could be a Virgo. Could be any earth sign, dear Cancer. 
Wow. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is Earth again. Okay. Let's put it back in as I did, was not going to say where this goes. Um, we've also got strong Pisces here. Gemini, Scorpio. Let's have a look at that King of Pentacles. Wow. King of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles. So Earth, as I said before. Um, now I'm going to say, dear Cancer, that I, because I feel that this is also another side to you, you've been holding back on your emotions. You, you were not certain. You were not certain. And therefore, you did not speak up. Okay, maybe you've got a lot on your plate. Okay, maybe you've been dealing with a lot. You've had to show that um, that strength. You had to show that strength maybe for others that you provide for. Or maybe maybe for those of you that this is a boss, dear Cancer, this is a boss. This could be a disappointment where business is concerned. As I feel as though maybe this, um, maybe this, if there was a promotion or, you know, a climbing up of the ladder where work is concerned, I do feel that that's where the disappointment came from. But there's a lot of mixed energies here, a lot. But I'm going to say that this chance may come back around and I'm going to say you've got the higher gr ground here. You've got the, uh, advantage, the advantage here. And also these, these two stars, these two falling stars, are very much about making a wish. Maybe your wish is being fulfilled as this is the end of your burdens. Someone is backstabbed here, but that's the darkest before the dawn. And as you could see here... We've got a little owl, which can speak of wisdom, it can speak of knowledge. And this is, yes, of course, owls do, um, they are a, a harbinger of death. But I feel that this is a metaphorical death, not an actual death. Let's take another card on this Seven of Wands. And we've got the King of Swords now. So we've got now, we've got two kings. We've got two kings and an emperor. As I was saying before, some of you are severing ties, could be with a Gemini, could be with an Aquarius. Okay, King of Swords could be the one that you have got the upper hand on. But this could also be for those of you that had secrets that you did not know about. Things are coming to light now. You know, the King of Swords could also be a legal representative. Those of you that are moving into a legal situation, this could be someone who wears a, a tie and a suit. Okay, someone who's very intelligent could be an Aquarius. If this is anything to do with legalities and losses. Because the emperor, I see him as very much of the law. Okay. Having do, doing things by the book. Okay. And whoever, I mean, this is payback time. Whoever has not been standing in their integrity, it's time for them to to pay the price. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Another Ten. You've got the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Swords. There is an ending of a cycle, no doubt, here. And we've got a 49, which equals, wow, 13 again? 13. Dear Cancer, you're going through transformation, no doubt. 
Let's take another card on this King of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. And we've got the Moon. Wow. So that's why, you know, this is Pisces Cancer. So it does have to do with fears, okay, with your emotional security, your financial security, anything to do with your home. Anything to do with uh, you being provided with emotional, financial security. And I do feel that, yes, you have been deceived. But this has been a harsh lesson for you. No doubt. This has been a harsh lesson. So it, not all is as it seems, dear Cancer. There's been a lot of deception that you've been dealing with. Let's take another card on this star. And we've got the Two of Swords. More swords. You've taken a risk on, on your wish. And I feel as though you were in two minds about moving towards your wish fulfillment. And you took a risk. But you found out that you lost. You found out that that risk did not pay off. But now this is like a brand new cycle that you're moving into. And you've learned the hard way, dear Cancer. You've received those Saturnian lessons. Now Jupiter will come in to bring you benefits. Jupiter does speak of truth. It speaks of the law. Those of you that have stepped outside of the law... This has been a harsh lesson. Now, this could be, this message could be the person that you've been dealing with. Okay? Let's take one more here. And we've got justice. Yep. 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 And this is Libra. Okay? This is fairness. If you've been dealt with a hard hand recently, you've paid your dues. You have paid your dues. And this is a new beginning for you. Even though you've been through a lot, you've gone through the test, dear Cancer. Now it's time to wake up. It's time to resurrect. Pick up your pieces and move forward in your convictions. And sever ties with whoever has you've been up against. Sever ties with whoever's been deceptive and not speaking truthfully and honestly. Wow, there's so many messages here. It's oh, Let's take some personal messages. Let's talk to the Twin Flame messages, Mystic Moon. Let's let it talk to us, I should say. Let's talk to it. Let it speak to us. So please, Spirit, for Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? Your beauty still moves me. Someone is infatuated with you, no doubt. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. So this is uh, talking about the past, no doubt. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. So seeing you makes them go into the mode of heartbreak or even soul search as you remind them of their past and I still love you so this is someone someone here has got an infatuation okay there is an infatuation here We've got two cards of three people. One person is secretive about their, their sexual preferences or their uh, truth where intimacy is concerned and the other person is wide open. So we've got two very opposing energies here. 
there we've got shyness here and here we've got it's all out like this is me so I don't know how that speaks to you and your own personal um, situation but that's what I see in the cards let's see if I can answer if spirit can answer if I can choose the right card this spirit for Gemini did I say Gemini oh my god for cancer a lot of you are dealing with a Gemini others of you could be on the cusp Wow okay so Gemini is on your mind right Gemini Sun Moon Rising let's see if, we, if spirit please spirit answer the question for cancer be assertive be assertive dear cancer let's take another card so if you don't have fire in your chart I don't know how you could be assertive if you believe wow if you believe now it's interesting that well I think it was Gemini that got a card the uh, astrology cards if you believe but it was the Pisces card so I don't know how that speaks to you um, yeah for those of you that are cross watchers obviously you might want to watch uh, either Pisces or Gemini readings as well so dear Cancer I do hope that you can stand strong in your convictions okay and speak your truth of course be assertive with your words do not do not hold back speak your truth or for forever hold your peace and we've got justice here and I think I will leave it at that as there is so much in here that is hidden I would love to hear your comments on this reading dear cancer and I want to send you many blessings much healing and I do hope you uh, clear things up and you know find yourself because I feel that you're a bit lost here wishing you luck namaste